Magandang araw sa lahat ng mga maalamat na guro sa buong Pilipinas. This is Teacher Malamat. Babahagin naman sa update na may kaugnayan sa kagawaran ng edukasyon. Sa video pong ito, tatalakayin po natin ang ilan sa mga impormasyon na nakapaloob sa Memorandum OUA Memo 00-0721-0015. So this is a Memorandum issued by the Office of the Undersecretary for Administration. So, this is dated July 1, 2021. So, naglalaman nga nito, or naglalaman nga ito ng guidelines on the delivery, distribution, and registration of SIM cards for the provision of connectivity load. So, malalaman po natin dito kung sino yung pwedeng makatanggap, sino ang dapat mag-register. Because, uh, yun nga, merong mga clarification relative to kung sino yung pe kung sino ba dapat yung mag-register dun sa link na ibinigay ng ng Department of Education. So, atin na pong alamin ang ilan sa mga impormasyon na may kaugnayan sa mga SIM cards na ipamibigay ga ng DepEd. So, yung uh, una, sino ba ang pwedeng makatanggap? So, ang nakalagay doon sa memorandum natin ay lahat ng permanent, contractual, and local uh, government unit or LGU paid uh, LGU paid personnel who are working in DepEd schools and offices ang pwedeng makatanggap ng SIM card. Yung SIM card na yan ay i-deliver sa regional offices and school division offices between July 5 to July 16, 2021. So, the identified issuing authority should release the SIM card to all teaching and non-teaching personnel by July 23, 2021. At siyempre, ang magre-register ng mga SIM cards doon sa link na depedconnect.com.ph ay ang supply officers and school property custodians. But I just want to give an emphasis on this. Merong inilabas na uh, memorandum relative to the change of uh, uh, this part of the memorandum na kung saan yung teacher na or yung kung sino ba yung uh, makatatanggap ng SIM card ang dapat nang mag-register doon sa dito sa link na ito. So, all the teachers who will be receiving the SIM card should uh, register to this depedconnect.com.ph So, yung proseso po natin or ito, yung, ito po yung uh, form na i-accomplish uh, din ng property custodian na mag-i-issue na sa atin ng uh, SIM card para somehow merong monitoring report. And the allocation per region, yan, Makikita po natin and ang grand total na ipamibigay ng SIM ay 1 million. And this is the process. So, kailangan lang natin mag, mag-register or mag-fill out ng form doon sa depedconnect.com.ph. So ito po yung form na kailangan po natin i-accomplish. Yan, employee number, full name, syempre uh, that includes your first name, middle name, and last name. Tapos yung position po natin, work phone number, then personal phone number, and other information po na makikita po natin dun sa form na yun. Then after that, we have to to select a date to pick up the SIM. So, kailangan po natin mag-select ng, ng date. Kailan ba natin kukunin yung SIM na yun? Then submit the form. So, note that upon submitting the form, you will receive a registration notice via email. Yung nilagay po natin uh, email address dun sa form na yun, eh, Uh, makare-receive po ng notification. Then, we have to screenshot yung QR code po natin. Yung quick response code, kailangan po natin i-screenshot so that when we proceed now to our respective school on the pick-up date, kailangan po natin i-present yung uh, uh, QR code na yon, including your two valid IDs to the school ICT coordinator for information validation. Then, we have to proceed to the school property custodian for the issuance. And, syempre, i-claim na natin yung SIM card. Then, finally, we have to fill out as well yung form kanina na ipinakita po natin ito. Kailangan po natin i-accomplish yan para dun sa monitoring report din ng ating school property custodian. So, that is the process on how we're gonna receive the SIM card that will be issued by the Department of Education na, na kakailanganin po natin or pwede po natin gamitin sa mga work-related activities po natin. Muli, yan po yung update po natin 
This is Teacher Maalamath signing off.